Hello again, uh, and welcome to U12 Armor Making Guide. Well, uh, today we are going to learn how to make your own armor for the game Blade and Sorcery using new SDK. And as you can see now, I opened the Blender and managed to find a model and adjust it to our uh, male character. And for you, you have to uh, also find the model of your armor piece or armor set whatever and uh, male character or female character that's up to you um, I already done that part you can check my previous guide I uh, explained some basics of um, Blender and um, after you finished making your armor adjusting to your model you have to hide your character then by pressing A, you can see I selected everything. Um, press File, Export, and to the FBX. You have to uh, put your check marks over here uh, in selected objects and visible objects, and then you can press Export FBX. That's it, and you have successfully done the Blender part. Nothing special. Now you have to open Unity with your new SDK and before starting you have to download uh, the two FBX files or only one, it's up to you for male and female character as well and um, I will send all links down below this in the description and uh, you also have to download one Small thingy in uh, official Blender Sorcery Discord server uh, from Huge Anna. Thanks to him, we can make armor way easier. And uh, let's start uh, by exporting, importing our model with all our textures uh, into Unity. And um, after you've done it, you have to press your uh, on your FBX file and press read write. That's necessary. After you've done it, you have to open your FBX model like that by pressing the arrow thingy and selecting all your meshes. You have to uh, press Ctrl D to duplicate them. That's also necessary, as I <laughs> remember. And uh, you can see it's uh, way bigger. Well, because that you can just uh, uh, drag your FBX file over here in hierarchy and then open it. Uh, select all your meshes, I suppose, they call it like that. And uh, by pressing here, we can just copy our position world. And okay, we don't need that anymore. And uh, pa paste that position world over here. And uh, same for, uh, for helmets, I just forgot it. Paste it in this, yes. Copy, position world. Yep, that and that. Paste, position world, yep. And it should look like that. Well, after you've done it, uh, you can see it looks weird and it's fine, of course. You have to create a new material. Let's call it uh, Roman. Okay, cool. And uh, let's make some materials and let's apply them to our model. I will speed up the progress so it won't be annoying for you. And as you can see now, I finally done it. And before making our actual armor piece, we have to create our item for each armor. For example, for helmet, for chest plate, in my case. And to do that, we can just type here proto. And here it is, our armor item. It's for example. And uh, we have to unpack it completely and delete male mesh and female mesh. We don't need them. It's up to you, of course. We don't need them. 
Now let's drag our helmet like that. Yep. And um, like, I think we can leave it like that. It's not really necessary for how to do that now. Okay, but I will, of course, I will. Let's duplicate our box collider, reset our position and rotation. Yep. And uh, let's adjust it to our that helmet thingy. Okay. Let's make it a bit bigger. It's fine if it's uh, like clipping through our uh, helmet. It's completely fine. It's not that necessary to do. It's up to you, of course. I'll only make it just an example. So it will look like that. Okay. Yep. It'll be fine. Cool. And okay, handles. We will not touch them right now. It's up to you, of course. And uh, basically, we have created our item. And yes, of course, we need to um, create our item ID as well. And let's call it, for example, Centurion Helm. Yep. Let's rename our object as well. After you've done it, just drag it over here and by pressing, I think, pre yes, it was preview. We can generate our icon for that item. And here, oh god. And here it is. It will look like that. Okay. Um, we have to do the same thing to our all armor pieces. For me, it's only two for helmet and chest plate. Okay. I will speed up the progress for uh, the chest plate as well. So, see you in a minute. So, now let's create our first uh, like actual armor piece. Will be our helmet. For that, I can suggest you to create empty parent for all your uh, like meshes groups. For example, for uh, like egg helmet and for your chest plate. As you can see, <laughs> I done it like that. And let's just copy our names. Uh, over here, and let's name it as arm, uh, armor dot sectorian helmet. And same for the chest plate. Arm, armor dot sectorian chest. Yep. Let's start with helmet, the easiest part uh, to do our helmet. We have to select all our meshes for helmet. And uh, add new component, which is called Skimp Mesh Helper. Yep. And also we have to input uh, like check mark here. Uh, for and now all we have to do uh, is to open our rig for human male model and um, just drag our head here, and then press set of single bone, and it's done basically. Component, new component, yep. Let's do now for the chest. Uh, we have to do it uh, other way by selecting, let's start from the chest, uh, LOD 0 for, for chest. Uh, what else? We don't need heads. Probably we will take legs. Why not? And underwear, yep. So, chest, legs, yep. Yeah. It will work fine, I suppose. Now, except from uh, to set a single bone, we have to transfer our bones. 
it will take some time. Yep, it's finally done. We don't need that, and we don't need that. Okay. Now, let's select our two parent groups or parent objects and type here mannequin group part. Uh, for Rick prefab, we will take our male human male rig yep for i think okay let's start from the helmet for helmet we will okay it auto applies everything that's cool and for helmet we have to find let's call it mesh part yes have to make like add two mesh parts because there are two meshes that's the cloth and helmet. Helmet, let's pick mm, plate. Yep, I suppose it's plate. And for cloth, we'll take fabric. What is it? Stone, wood, metal, slash, slash, channel. Uh, I think, yes, it was leather. Okay. Now, basically, it's done. We can just uh, drag it here. Yep. And for our chest, basically the same way. We have to do everything the same way. And there will be three mesh parts because we have three meshes. Uh, okay, body, cloth, and cloth again. Uh, for body, let's pick up again plate. For our two cloth meshes, yep, whatever. We will take leather material as well, and it's done. Yep, let's put it here. Now we have to create our wardrobe data. To do that, we just create, press create here, and here's mannequin, and here is wardrobe data. Yep, let's call it like our helmet, armor piece, name, yep, here it is, uh, yes, and uh, we have to drag our armor piece here, like the prefab itself, and uh, for editor location labels, always will be humanoid location labels, and uh, let's type only one. There will be only one uh, number of channels for helmet, helmet, that's head of course, and helmet. Uh, if you want, you can include like the hairs, so hairs will hide uh, after you wear the helmet. And well, yes, that's it. And let's do the same thing for our chest plate. Uh, mannequin, order of data, and let's call it like. That, yep. For chest plates, I think there will be more than one layer. Or no, no, there will be only one layer. Whatever. And there will be only one layer. And that's not head. That's torso and shoulders. And we do not need to occlude anything. Yep, we don't need to do that. So basically, it's done. And I forgot to mention that you have to delete the clothing gender switcher component. It's uh, important because uh, it won't work other way. So yep. Now we have to create a new addressable group like that. Then um, drag everything that is related to your mod. Uh, that means uh, order of data. Uh, your like armor pieces, those two prefabs, whatever and uh, actual items uh, icons those uh, like like those and uh, of course prefabs item prefabs and it will look like that for you uh, then you can select everything choose android and windows and simplify it i also <laughs> fix the name of armor accessory or helmet because i <laughs> misinput it misspelled it Whatever. Um, after you've done it, you 
have to set this set it as default and then uh, let's just duplicate the proto assets bundle group i think just asset whatever then go to inspector and then um, let's call it as centurion armor yep like that and here we shall choose our addressable group which is called centurion yep here it is author will be <laughs> me hanky yep uh and the description will be also like that it's not necessary and let's rename our asset which will called as wait can i do that please okay let's call it like centurion armor like that here it is centurion armor um and now yes i think we can just build it that's it now you can see um uh, now you have to open your mods folder in Blend Sorcery uh, game folder, and here it is our Centurion armor. Uh, now I think we can just open it like that. Yep, yep. And then um, I already copied a uh, small uh, item order of example. Now let's rename it as Centurion uh, chest. chest like that uh, and uh, all of these will be centurion chest as well and uh, ID over here and also our prefab address and the uh, icon address will be uh, centurion chest as well because uh, I named them like that in unity you can see it over here um uh, now if you if you want to make armor only for male characters you don't need uh, that line so you should probably delete it and our uh, wardrobe data address will be armor dot centurion chest yep like that okay that was json for our armor like chest piece now let's create our JSON for our helmet, Centurion Helm. Let's copy the name. And uh, I forgot about one thing about display name, <laughs> of course. And author. Hanky. Yep, that's me. And uh, about category, let's pick plate category, because why not? Plate. that and same thing for for helmets wardrobe thingy plate and me and uh, our ids will be helm because uh, we are making json for helmet this one name also will be like that centurion helmets and the uh, brief address will be centurion helmets as well as icon address and down below, you can find again our order of data address, and it will be like armor centurion helm. So yes, basically that's it. Uh, we I suppose we have done everything. Well, I see you in a couple of minutes again in the game, and let's test it. See ya. Now I finally launched the game, and let's see if our yes they're here. Our helmet let's equip it as well as our chest and here they are it works and that's cool maybe textures look a bit goofy and that's fine you can always edit everything in unity so yes uh, i hope you <laughs> liked it make uh, i mean the progress of making your own armor and uh, i hope my guide was helpful and um, I suppose I'll see you next time.